Hey guys, it's the insane kitten here. Um, uh, it's 11.30 at night. Um, I got home today from my friend's house at around 4 o'clock. And around 4.50, I went into my room because my mom was coming home so she can pick me up so I could go with her to her chiropractor appointment. I look over, my hamster isn't in his cage. So, I haven't caught him yet, um, but I've been making homemade hamster traps. I've made a paper bag one where you just like a paper bag. Take a bag. Okay. It's not this big, it's a lot small, smaller. But I put some bedding in there and like, you know. Um, you know, this. Um it's like paper. And then I actually put some of the actual bedding. I highly recommend this one though. If they put actual lavender in there. And it really reduces the smell of odor in your room. So, like, behind that wall right there with all, like, the flower looking things is my room. But, um, I've been making homemade traps, and whatever one works, I will post on how to make it or what to do and everything and but he's been missing for a few hours now so um a lot of people have been saying you know peanut butter and all this um so i'm gonna try it as many as I can. My room is a mess because I've been trying to look for him. So there's like in the middle of my room there is like everything. So like just piled onto like chairs and boxes and stuff. So I like cleared some spaces out from under my bed and um all that I can do. So and you know come to find out my sister was the only one in my room when I was over at Riskin's. So she obviously took like dumb part out, like okay. She uh how do I explain this in an easy way. Um but there's this like dome part that comes off. And like, okay, so this is a cage right here, like right here. And then there's like a ball over here and then the dome is over here. Like the, the hamster goes up and like sleeps in the dome. But you can take the hood off so you can clean it and everything and there's also a little like opening you can open and like you can stick your finger in and pet the hamster. But um Uh, the part that you can take off so you can clean it was off of the off of the cage, and I'm like, the hamster can't push that up. My sister, she she tried telling me you know like she didn't do it or anything, but I'm like, you know, this you're not gonna be in major trouble. Just help me look for the hamster. Like I saw it before my mom picked me up, and. I was about to grab him, but then my grandpa came in, and he was like, your mom's here to pick you up to go to the chiropractor. So I was like, okay, you know, can you, you know, help? And so he was like, yeah. And they were about to get him, but my sister, she didn't help out. So I would have probably had my hamster, hamster by now. But I need quite a few. Traps. I made a couple traps. Um, I actually was about to go get my cage, and um, like the front, it opens up, 
see that link is like, it kind of looks like a staircase or type thing. And I was going to put some peanut butter on there and hopefully he goes to eat while I'm in bed tonight. Because I really, I, I've had them literally since he was born. Um, my hamster I had before, she gave birth. She had 12 babies. And she ate all but 11, but one. So she ate 11 babies. And that last one I still have. And she died back in October or something like that. And he was like, he looks exactly like her, so I named her, named him uh, after her, which is Jinx. And Jinx is, um, you probably know him, he's from Black Um, but, I, I, I don't want to lose him because, like, just so much has been happening. In the past, you know, year or so, and it's it's heartbreaking. You know, I when I got my hamster Jinx, the first one, uh, she 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 was the sweetest thing. I used to be able to like, pick her up and everything, and like if I felt down or something, like she was actually there, like. I could hold her and she like, you know, snuggled to me and everything. And you can't really do that with her son. Because, you know, he bites and everything. He's not used to eating. But I have had him since he was born. And he's like, this big now. Like, this big frown. He's like a fat so Um. But. You know, I, I still don't want to lose him because that's her offspring, you know. And I loved the hipster. I loved, I loved her with all my heart. I did. And, um, you know, it's just, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm using, you know. So, when I'm done and I finally catch her, catch him. And I I will do my best. I will do my best. But um, if you have any suggestions at all, any, I mean, literally, if you have any suggestions, I highly recommend to give them in the one because I really want to catch my hamster. Um, I have a cat and a dog in this house, and my cat will practically go play with anything, and he would probably kill my hamster. I know for sure he's in my room. I know that for sure. Um, so I don't, and my cat and dog don't go in my room, but if, some, you know, if he somehow got out of my room, then, you know, I don't know what to do then. But, um... Because my house is kind of big, so um, I don't want to lose my hamster. I just, I just don't. And my dog, she'll eat like anything moving, and she's a Siberian husky, so she gets like really hyper really easily. So, um, I just, I just want to catch her, or catch my hamster, get him back in his cage, which would be a hard. Thing to do when I actually have, um, you know, if one of the things catch him that isn't his cage. So, um, real quick, I'm going to grab my cage. I'm going to bring it up here and I'll show you what I mean. So, hold on. I'm going to go
Alright, so this is what I mean right here. This part it comes off and you can I'm having a hard time taking it. Alright, this part comes off and this part came off. I got home and it was off. And my hamster was out of the cage. So that was kind of long. Yeah. My hamster was out of the cage. And I got a corner, but you know, I'll do that once he's in the cage. Because, I don't know, I just, I just I feel better when I'm cleaning the cage with him in it. Because I know where he's at. And, yeah. So, like, I was. I got a, I, I got another cage a while back, and we were gonna get two like run. Um, here, um, no, here. So we're gonna run from here. down into here, because this is the other cage I got, um, like I was going to use this cage, but I can't really do that, because it looks up, so I can't really do that, but, this one, this one though, like, I can actually take this, and lift it down. So he could climb up. I'm putting peanut butter right here, but he could climb up. And yeah. So that's what I'm doing. And I highly recommend those cages. Um just make sure whatever, you know, seal there is, just make sure it's actually sealed. Okay. Like, you don't want your hamster getting out. Um, I recommend this, the cage I use for my hamster, though. I highly recommend that one. Um, just if you have any like little sisters or something, make sure they're not anywhere near the cage. So, um, but I will let you know tomorrow morning the status on my hamster. Alright. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell me if you have anything. You know. I just I wanna catch him. So thanks a lot guys. I love you. All of you. Um thanks. It means a lot to me. So, thank you.